Hi, this is Xtal. Today we're going to create a pixelation effect in Touch Designer, one of the most requested tutorials from the community. This effect is great for achieving a low resolution, digital aesthetic on images or video, and it can be built with a minimal but effective network. Even if you're new to Touch Designer, the structure is simple enough to follow without getting overwhelmed. We'll start by importing a video using the movie file in top. For best results, choose a clip with frequent cuts and fast-paced scene changes. This kind of footage emphasizes the pixelation effect and makes the visual transformation more noticeable and dynamic. Now, connect the pre-built video to a Text 3D. This node is used to generate or handle 3D texture data, which sets the foundation for later pixel-based processing. By doing this, we merge both the text and the video into a unified 3D texture. Connect a time machine to the Text 3D node. This node allows you to store and recall frames over time, enabling temporal effects like delay, feedback, or looping motion within the pixelated texture. It's a powerful way to introduce dynamic, time-based visual behavior. Connect an edge after the movie file in to extract the contours of the video. The edge node detects edges based on contrast, and by increasing the strength parameter to 10, we amplify the edge details. This helps enhance the visual contrast when applying the pixelation effect later. Open the palette browser on the left and drag in the pixelate component. Connect it directly to the output of the edge top to apply the pixelation effect on the extracted contours. This approach preserves edge details while transforming the visual into a stylized digital aesthetic. For the next step, we'll apply a second pixelate effect to achieve a rougher look. To do this, we first connect a level top to the footage. This allows us to fine tune the brightness and contrast before pixelating again. Connect a noise to the level and adjust the parameters carefully. Keep tweaking the values until you achieve the desired texture. This adds a natural variation to the pixelation effect.
Once the noise is set, connect the pixelate. Adjust the pixel size to achieve the desired look. I preferred a finer pixel effect, so I set it to the smallest size. Connect a threshold to the pixelate. You'll see the image convert to a monochrome look. We'll use a mat to composite the layers. Import the mat and connect it to the previously created Tama, Pixelate 1, and Threshold nodes. This allows the elements to blend seamlessly. Connect a feedback to the mat. This step adds trailing echoes to the image, creating a sense of depth and dynamic movement. Connect a beat.chop to the feedback top. This causes the feedback effect to change rhythmically over time. For the final step, connect the res top. This node controls the final output resolution. Connect a movie file out top to export the final result. This node allows you to save your project as a video file. We walked through the process of creating a pixelate effect in Touch Designer. Step by step, we explored how to use various nodes like level, noise, pixelate, and feedback to transform footage into a unique visual style. It's really fascinating how layering these simple elements can lead to a personalized and dynamic look, rather than just a basic pixelation. You probably noticed how adjusting the pixel size, adding noise, and applying a threshold gave the effect much more depth and texture, making the pixelation feel alive and expressive. And then by connecting the feedback and beat chop nodes, we introduced rhythmic changes that add a sense of movement and energy to the visuals and important detail for making your project stand out. Touch Designer's node-based workflow is incredibly powerful, letting you create endless variations just by combining nodes in different ways. I encourage you to experiment with what we covered today and find your own style. Remember, the key to mastering this tool is consistent practice and exploration. I hope this tutorial helps inspire your creative journey, and I look forward to sharing more exciting content with you soon. Thanks so much for watching and sticking with me through this process.